want to know the lowdown on clay seven, how to use it? Well, I'm going to give you the seven, seven rules of clay seven to rock it out. There might be six. I don't know. We'll figure out when we get to the end of the video. So between six and seven. Rule number one, most important, right? Why are you using it? Why did you select clay seven, right? Check that canvas. What's it look like? If you're trying to get from level one to level 10, clay seven is probably not going to be your best bet right? We know it's ammonia free. It's gentle. It's for open air lifting. And the driver of this is balayage, but not just balayage, French balayage, right? Do we all know what that is? This is the difference. We've got balayage, French balayage. The French balayage, as you can see, it is surface paint only. There's nothing underneath and it's going to give us a more classic feel, right? That, that, that sun-kissed natural look, right? So that canvas is number one. What are you using clay seven for? What are you trying to achieve with right. it? Number two, number two, mixing your product, right? You've already realized that this is the, this is the best lightener for this particular service. So now we got to mix it down, right? We know it's anywhere from one to one to one to one and a half for foil and balayage. And then it is one to two on scalp with 20 or 30 Maji cream. But What's important about it is the way that it works, right? So the technology of it, the way that that clay is working, right? Think about a bowl of gravy. When you leave a bowl of gravy out all night and then come to it in the morning, touch that top, right? What's it feel? It's got a gelatinous skin on it, right? But it has not solidified all the way through, okay? So that's exactly how clay seven is going to work for you, right? You're gonna take this and you're going to apply it where it has thick enough that it can create the outer skin to prevent bleeding, but stay moist enough underneath to continue lifting. So when we mix this, we want to ensure that we're not making meringue or, you know, heavy whipping cream, like going nuts with that thing, right? Because what we're doing is twofold. One, we're creating friction. Friction creates heat. Heat is one of the catalysts to get lighteners moving, right? But two, just this action is creating, just this action is creating um, aeration, right? So we're over aerating the product and we're pushing all this extra oxygen into it. That oxygen then wants to swell. So your nice clean balayage lines coming down the strand could swell out, right? We don't want that. Rather go in, fold it down. The less action, the better. No whipping, right? It's not meringue, it's not heavy cream. It's clay seven. Cool. Once you've got that mixed down, it's time to move to number three. Rule three of clay seven is going to be application. Now in two, we kind of discussed it a little bit, how it needs to be applied a little bit heavier because it is performing two actions. It's creating a skin and it's still lightening the hair underneath, right? So with that, I always say ice the cake, right? Think of a cake. When you ice a cake, you've got enough icing all around that cake that you cannot see the cake through it. But it's not so much that it's fallen off in globs, it's uneven, and it looks like crap, right? So, ice the cake. When you're going on, this is especially important when you're diffusing. When you get to the top, right, it's not the time to turn into Bob Ross making happy little trees for 20 minutes, okay? If you run that down too thin, you will not have enough product to create the skin and continue the lift. And then you'll get maybe some bleed marks or a harsh demarcation line which we don't want, right? So when we're applying, ice the cake, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Number four, processing, right? So now this is something that you don't often think of, but it's something that I've, I've run into in the salon myself. When you are processing, processing this, you don't want heat, right? You are not using heat with this. That way, the system, the technology, that clay won't be able to set and form that skin, right? That heat is just gonna make it drip. But also, it's summertime direct streams of air. If you're processing right below an AC unit or a fan, that direct stream of air that's getting pushed down is gonna dry that product out even faster. So just make sure that your client is processing without heat in an area where there is no direct streams of air hitting that clay seven. All right, number five. We're closer to the end and now it's maybe time to take this down. Couple of things. Don't run up to it and start 
rubbing it, checking it underneath. Oh, is it done yet? Right? Because the more that you do that, you're just moving the product and getting it off, right? You're just removing the product. So if it isn't done now, it's really not going to be done because you pulled that product off, right? So make sure we're not picking it up, playing with it, doing all this stuff. Don't disturb it much. Now, what's great about it, it does have 19% clay. So it, it's going to be a little bit, it's got a little bit more elasticity, right? It's not going to dry out and snow down on your floor, right? Great stuff for that. Don't play with it, let it process, let it do its thing. Cool? Cool. Number six, number six. Number six I'm making up right now because I think I've covered everything already, but let's talk about a couple of things, right? One, it's ammonia free. Two, it is the absolute best, best French balayage lightener that is out there, right? Um, don't process under heat. Don't process in direct streams of air. Don't beat the living sin out of your lightener when you're mixing it prefer more of a fold down but again it's the canvas set your expectations correctly this is not the tool to bring you from a level one to a ten sound good sounds good to me finally number seven seven rules of seven i just needed seven to balance it off so Thank you guys. If you have any questions about Clay 7, just feel free. Hit me up on my Instagram and um, let's run through it. Talk to you soon.